thank you mr speaker first time in more than two decades the united states will host the international aids conference the nineteenth international aids conference drawing over twenty thousand people from around the world to our nation's capital having participated in every conference since i was first elected to congress in nineteen ninety eight i knew we could not bring the conference back to the united states until the discriminatory immigration ban on people living with h i v was lifted in two thousand and seven i introduced a bill to repeal the ban you believed it could be done, but through bipartisan support, we achieved this goal, and I want to thank members who are still here for their support in that effort. This week, the return of the conference is an important opportunity to shine a global spotlight on the fight against AIDS in the African American community and communities of color and a national spotlight on the ongoing global epidemic. Yesterday, I introduced new legislation to do just that. Ending the HIV AIDS Epidemic Act articulates a policy and financing framework to achieve an AIDS-free generation in the United States and abroad. I urge all of my colleagues to support it so that we can begin to bring an end to AIDS here at home and around the world. Thank you, and I yield back.